Welcome to 5 Minutes of Momentum. These episodes are a short 5-minute burst of inspiration, motivation, and massive action. If you need that little kick up the butt to get things moving and to inspire you to take massive action, then every single Thursday I'll be sending you through a 5-minute episode to download, digest, and implement to finish your week off strong. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back to the podcast. Today I want to talk to you about choosing the right business coach for you because I know that there's a lot of confusion out there in the market of how to choose the right coach. And I'm going to give you a couple of key pointers on how to find the right coach, how to figure out what it is that you're actually looking for because there is different types of coaches and I just want to help you be able to clarify that. So I'm going to share with you how I've chosen coaches in the past, what are some of the things that I did in the process of choosing a coach for myself and what I looked for. Okay, so let's start firstly with just breaking down a couple of terminologies because there are differences based on what you need in your business. So there's coaches, there's consultants, there's mentors, there's strategists. And so you want to figure out like what is that you actually need. So basically to give you a bit of a breakdown, we've got consultants that obviously are possibly actually supporting you with one specific area of your business. There's mentors, which are actually just basically sharing their insights and awareness and advice based on their past experience. So it's a little bit different of a relationship. You're not necessarily, you know, learning a specific skill or you're not having them come in and audit any part of your business. Like there's nothing like that. It's actually more like a supportive relationship. That's basically someone you can go to to ask questions and you will hear based on their past experience. And then we have coaches. There are different types of coaches as well. So there might be coaches that basically teach you just their strategy where they're teaching you something specific of based on what they've learned in their business or one specific skill. Uh, And there's different types of coaches with regards to mindset as well. So there's sometimes there's counselors, right, that are going to most likely talk about something that you've been through and they're going to actually help you unpack that experience and maybe help you reframe it or maybe help you explore any emotions attached to that experience. Then you have a psychologist and a psychiatrist. So psychiatrist is obviously helping you diagnose specific issues and medical challenges, okay? Then we have psychologists, which is actually going to talk majority and ask you great questions, but they don't necessarily give you advice. It's more about like talking through your emotions, talking through your relationships, talking through past experiences, and very much it's focused on the past. Whereas I find a coach or the difference between what I do differently in my business as a coach is we're very future focused. We're very focused on, you know, we might look back to the past and uncover some of the belief systems or uncover experiences that maybe have shaped your belief systems or shaped your view of the world. And then we reframe that and we think about, okay, so is that serving us holding on to that? And then I might do some transformational change work to help support you rewire that part of your brain. And we're focused on what it's going to do for you for the future. So we think about where do you want to go? How are you going to get there? And we strategize how you're going to get there. And then we think about the mindset that you need to adopt in order to get there. So there's lots of different options. And I think you want to think about based on where you are in business, what do you need? And so some of the types of questions I always ask myself is is like, do I need someone specifically to teach me a specific area of business that I need to improve? Do I need to find someone who has done what I really want to do in their business and I want to learn their strategy, right? So I might go find someone who has a specific strategy they teach. Or I might look to someone going, okay, I want to actually learn from someone who has experience across lots of different industries. Or do I want to be in a relationship with a coach where they support me in coming to my own decision and my own answers and explore what's holding me back and then help support me in moving forward towards where I want to go, okay? So depending on where you're at in business, you may need strategy. You may need the step-by-step process of like how to get from A to B, right? Or you might need a skill. You might need to actually learn a specific skill like sales or you might need to learn a specific skill around marketing and you want to actually learn the ins and outs of that actual skill. Or you might need a coach that's actually going to support you to get out of your own way, to take massive action in your business and to start keeping you accountable and help supporting you in getting to that next level of growth, right? So we really want to think about like based on where we're at in business, what do I currently need? Because there's been times in my business where I'm like, oh, I need a strategist, right? Or I need to actually learn that skill or I need a coach that's actually going to help support me get out of my own way. So once you know, have an idea of like where you're at and what you need, here's some of the things that I do to actually find a coach. One, I ask around. So I literally ask other people of who they've worked with, what they've gotten out of it, uh, why they recommend them, like all those types of things. I try to find other people online as well. So I look through other people and who they've worked with in the, with in the past and, and think about like who else is there. And I follow people for a little while before I have a conversation with them. Usually what I do as well is I look for people who have experience in multiple different areas because 
Otherwise, I find that if you find someone that's just teaching the one thing, like they're just working with coaches or they're just working with marketers, I find that they're basically going to teach you their strategy and that step-by-step cookie cutter kind of strategy. Whereas because of my experience with multiple different types of industries and I've worked across many different industries, I am able to actually personalize and customize the strategy based on the client and the industry that they're in. So sometimes you need to look for that depending on what industry you're in because you may not be able to find a coach that has experience in your specific industry. So like, again, you might go, okay, my service or a product-based might be another way to look at it. So if you're product-based, you'd find a product-based coach. If you are service-based, you could work with me because I'm a service-based coach, right? Like I come from the service-based industry. It's where my skill set is and that's who I love to work with. The next key pieces that I look for are values. What values do they portray and do they embody? And are they fully authentic in the way that they're embodying them? So that's why I follow them for a while because I wanna see that full embodiment coming through. I wanna know that I'm gonna get the same person on the Zoom call that I'm gonna get on Instagram. Otherwise, it kind of feels completely out of integrity. And so I look for my core values. So my core values are freedom, connection, integrity, and growth. And so if they're not prominent in that person, then I'm most likely not gonna connect with them. So I look for people who have similar values. And then what I do is I look at testimonials. So I go straight to their website or I go to their social pages and I look for their testimonials and see what their clients are saying about them. Now, obviously, sometimes it's not as fully transparent because sometimes people can actually just cut and paste their their testimonials or you just never know whether they're actually real. So I go to look for video testimonials because that's actually where I'm going to get the real information from the right person. Sometimes I'll even reach out to that person and see whether they have any feedback or if they are able to share with me their experience of working with that person because I know that if I'm going to invest a lot of money, I actually reach out and find out more information. Then... Only then do I then go and speak to the person. So then I'll reach out to them, have a conversation and get on a call with them to determine whether they have what it is that I I need and to determine whether they're the right fit for me. So I really want you to think about when it comes to finding the right coach for you, where are you at in business? What do you really need? And start looking for those key pieces like that embodiment piece, the values, the feedback and testimonials and make sure that you have the conversation and also know that you don't you shouldn't be pressured into buying straight away so have a conversation with them let them know that you're just feeling out you know if they're the right fit for you and if it feels right then go with it go with your gut but if it doesn't feel right then be okay with having another conversation at a later time so sometimes i've done this before in the past where i'm like you know what i'm actually not ready right now but can we have a call in about a month's time and we'll see where we're at then. And so then I follow up with that call and I do that call in a month's time to see whether anything has changed because sometimes you just need to get to know them a little bit more before you feel super comfortable in investing. So I hope that this helps and I hope that you're able to take something away from this to support you in helping you make the decision. And if I hope this helps, And I hope this supports you in being able to make the right decision for you. And if you feel called to work with me in in any capacity, you're more than welcome to reach out and have a chat. I'm never anyone to, to pressure someone into buying. I will absolutely make sure that I'm the right fit first before I actually share with you how to work with me. And so you can either DM me and have a chat. We can have a couple of voice notes back and forth. Or if you prefer to jump on a call, we can absolutely jump on a call. Just send me a DM. You can also book a discovery call through my links in my Instagram or through my website. Otherwise, I hope this has really been beneficial and I hope you have a beautiful afternoon.